hope all of you are stay, staying safe and fine so today on behalf of the amad dean to be university and the department of electrical and electronics engineering i welcome you all for this two days national seminar on research methodology in association with iei institution of engineers india students chapter and i triple student branch i pray the almighty to be throughout this event to make this a grand success at, at this juncture i would like to thank the management the chancellor sir dr ramachandran the pro chancellor dr rajesh ramachandran the honorable vice chancellor colonel dr g tirvasaham the registrar dr m j prakash vel the joint registrar mrs sankita albin and our dean ma'am dr t sashilata to providing us a wonderful opportunity to organize this program now i request dr p shiva peramal assistant professor department of triple a amad dean to be university to deliver the welcome address thank you ma'am uh, very good morning to everyone present here i would like to welcome our below dean dr d sasilata she is a great support to us i welcome you ma'am it is a moment of extreme pleasure to welcome the guest of today's seminar session dr manpreet uh, singh manna former director of aste is the thank you so much sir so for accepting our invitations and delivering the uh, expert the lecture in the seminar on research methodology i welcome you sir i welcome our colleagues and all the participants the focus on the topic of artificial intelligence enabled research methodology the road map to national education policy on behalf of admit uh, amit dean to be university and our department of electrical electric electronic engineering so once again i welcome you all and thank you now i request to uh, mrs uh, rk badmashni ma'am to continue thank you all thank you sir now we request our dean ma'am dr t sasilada dean academics department of tripoli to deliver the inaugural address so thank you ma'am uh, thank you uh, respected speakers dr manpreet manna from patiala uh, former director of uh, aact then uh, another speaker dr preeta sharan from oxford college of engineering bangalore distinguished participants from various organizations dear coordinators our amat triple faculty team other department faculty and other faculty members from various organizations very good morning to all the department of triple e is organizing two days national seminar on research methodology on today and tomorrow in association with the institution of engineers india student chapter and i triple e student branch on this occasion i extend my appreciation to the coordinators of this event because this program this webinar is the need of the hour we are in the pandemic situation of course we have uh, enough time for doing research i am confident that this webinar will give very good take away to the research scholars faculty members and students also i am sure that the webinar will kindle young minds to do innovation and research on latest technological advancements there are lot of funding opportunities available in government sectors there are lot of fellowship schemes available for the ug and pg students and research scholars with the support of good proposals definitely the research scholars and faculty members will grab the funding opportunities from government organization you know research methodology is very very important because the researchers can find out a problem but for the problem they are supposed to give some solutions using various methodologies of research definitely the research methodology is the best method to solve the particular problem and it gives accurate results so selecting the research topic is a very big challenge 
even uh, how to explain about the topic, how to find a solution, that is also a big issue. So I think uh, these issues and challenges will be addressed by the eminent speakers who are available here. The first session is handled by Dr. Manpreet Manna from Patiala. He is the former director of AICT. On behalf of our Amat University Management and our uh, Vice Chancellor, Register, and uh, all the members of faculty, I would like to welcome, sir, along with the Madam uh, Vatmashini, Madam. And uh, also, I would like to welcome the second speaker, Dr. Preeta Sharan. She is not uh, new to our Amat University. She always uh, will give lectures. She will take uh, more uh, sessions. Welcome, Madam. Thank yeah. you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. I welcome all the participants. So definitely, this wonderful webinar will give good takeaway for doing research and getting into funding opportunities and challenges. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Now we request Dr. G. Tenmuli, Professor, Department of Tripoli, to introduce the Chief Guest. Very good morning to one and all present here. It is my great privilege to introduce our expert speaker of today's session in uh, two days seminar on research methodology. Dr. Manpreet Singh Manna, former director AACTE. He is graduated in electrical and electronics engineering from Mysore University. He did his Master of Engineering in Power and Machines from Tapa University, Patiala, and PhD in Electrical and Instrumentation Engineering from a yes, centrally funded deemed university established by Government of India, SLIET Longawal. Starting his teaching profession as a lecturer from SLIET in the year 1997, he has attained the position of director, All India Council for Technical Education under Ministry of HRD, Government of India and New Delhi. He discharged his duties as director, AACT, New Delhi of University Bureau Administration, NEQIP cell and in charge Regional Office Kerala Prime Minister Special Scholarship Scheme. He is also founder director of Swam MOOCs project, which is an instrument for self-actualization, providing unique educational opportunities to the citizens of India for expanding their horizons of knowledge for a long lifelong learning. Dr. Manna, with his persistent efforts and devotion, under the able guidance of his seniors at MHRD and AACTE, developed and made Swam platform go live for public well within the targeted period period dr manna received the commendation award from the then Sri, uh, honorable president Sri pranav Mukherjee on 9th july 2017 during the launch of swayam platform one of the important digital initiatives of mhrd during three days national convention held during 8th July 2017. Mr. Uh, Dr. Manna successfully organized the Swachata Ranking 2017 Award Ceremony on 14th September 2017 at the Asok New Delhi. Dr. Manna also successfully organized the inauguration of Hackathon on 9th November 2016 at Teenmurti Bhavan. New Delhi under the Benin Championship of Honorable Union Minister for Human Resource Development in the presence of eminent academicians and intellectual from all over the country. Dr. Manna conducted Smart India Hackathon workshops, the first and the biggest ever events in India under the ages of MHRD having support from us as many as 25 ministries and government departments across the country to disseminate awareness among the students of computer, IT, electronics of all engineering and technological institutions for active participation in the world's largest event. Dr. Manna 
was deputed as a visiting associate professor by Ministry of HRD to AIT Bangkok during 2012 session. He is a fellow of Institution of Engineers India and ISQM UK. He is senior member of IEEE USA, ISRD USA and IETI Hong Kong. Dr. Manna is also life member of ISTE India. Dr. Manna has published about 200 research publications for in leading national and international journals and attended a number of conferences in the field of engineering and technology. He has delivered expert talks on various topics in his, in his area of expertise on national TV channels and institutions in India. He is also serving as editor and reviewer for many international refereed journals books and the AACT news bulletin. He has also contributed chapters for various prominent technical education books. Keeping in view of his vast experience in the area of technical education, IEEE Society has selected him as executive member of IEEE Delhi section for the year 2016. Dr. Manna has been conferred with the following awards. Shrasit Acharya Award, Bharat Excellence Award, Best Citizen of India Award in 2014, Outstanding Faculty Award in 2015, Rashtriya Shiksta Gaurav Prashkar Award in 2015, Exceptional Leadership of Excellence Award in 2017, Innovative Policy Maker Award in 2017, Eminent Engineers Award in 2017, Medal of Honor in 2018, he visited the countries like USA, Switzerland, Thailand, Singapore, and China to chair the sessions for invited talks, presenting papers, and on teaching assignments, etc. Many more feathers are there in his crown. To brief, sir, your profile will be a good inspiration, inspiration for all of us. We are really happy to have you as expert speaker of the day, sir. I invite you to give the expert lecture now. Thank you, sir. Please proceed. Thank you, Thank you very much, ma'am. Such a elaborated, my boy, Reta, you have read it. I think the participant must be thinking, yeah, uh, is that today only the Bayreta session or it is a session by the <laughs> concerned speaker? But anyhow, I'm really grateful to you. A special thanks to Dr. Shasilata, the Dean of the University, all the dignitaries of the universities, the chancellors, the vice chancellor, deans, directors, head of the departments, faculty members, and very special participants. Those are going to bear me for next one hour. So I hope I was in time. And these 10 minutes were not in my account. I will take my 60 minutes exclusively. So please be with me and not wasting a more time of you. Already you have uh, heard which is irrelevant to you because if my award, it doesn't make any sense to you. If it is my, uh, you know, some acquirance, so it doesn't make only that doesn't make sense. If I'm going to share something with you, that is going to make a sense if it is going to be really useful to you. So I'll try my best to give you the best of my topic, which I have decided exclusively for you people. And this is what I just wanted to share with you today in my talk. Dear participants, the subject research methodology is a well-known subject from last many, many years. Whoever did a PhD since 1970 onwards, they have came across this particular subject, topic, title, whatever it may be so. Without qualifying this, or without going through with this content, they were not allowed to be start doing their experimental work their thesis work, their dissertation work, their paper writing work, something. You know, with the time changes, technology changes, and we get so many new things in our life. This is what in the research methodology, I still remember my teacher, my professor, when they were, uh, I think somebody's mic is unmuted. If they can mute it, it will be a great help to me to be make it up. Uh, complete silence in the system so that they can speakers can in the audience can enjoy thank you very much now it makes a sense you know uh, our uh, great professors uh, and our great scientists they started their career and they did so much you know research in their area uh, although the phd was not that popular and that common 
as nowadays it is a cup of tea of every teacher without phd they can't become a professor and everybody wants to become a professor after all why not if you are in a teaching so you want to be have the highest elevation in your life and then phd is a one of the uh, title you must have it earlier it, the phd was not that even a bsc uh, was professor in a bhu and they were teaching to the so many students and students become a doctorate and they used to say that we are working on some kind of you know the calculator was not there forget it computer calculator was not there they were using some other kind of uh, tools technologies to be doing their mathematical calculations no numerical techniques were there it was a simple algebra mathematics and they were doing the way but yes the research happened innovation happened if you if you forgetting then i can make you to recall to arya bhatta ji i can make you to recall our uh, abdul kalam ji abdul kalam ji also i don't think in his research time he could even use a laptop but he is a great uh, you know scientist in our country who given a new uh, arena new openings so research is one passion when you are in your passion suppose i'll before start my topic i just want to give uh, one or two openings in that uh, i am a passionate of doing something gardening or maybe cooking i am a passionate i want to do it when i'll go to the kitchen to cook something to be served to my family to my friends and years and years i would be looking the best tool like a pan oh today i wants to make a dosa oh dosa uh, where is a dosa tawa no no you use this pan no 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 i want do dosa tawa only because my dosa should be a paper dosa and it should be properly uh, get flatted so that i can roll it and i can wrap it and i can serve to someone sometimes you are asking for one particular uh, type of spoon oh i want to have a ice cream where is my ice cream spoon why ice cream spoon take this no no it is uh, the soup spoon why i should use when we are doing such a small small activities at your home and we are looking for the specific tools to be get the better taste and to get the better preparation can't we use the tools for our research which is your passion you are maybe going to publish some paper you may be going to write some chapter you are maybe going to do some patent or ipr or maybe something or maybe you are going to create a e content to be delivered to your students don't you think that you should have the best tools available in society in open source in market so that i can produce i can bring the great out of the available resources so what is the meaning of research objectives of research motivation in research classification of work these these are the common areas i think i don't have to teach you i don't have to teach but still okay because it is a you know research search of knowledge it's a systemized effort to gain any new knowledge art of scientific investigation or manipulation of things and concepts i'll tell you four things please remember in your mind whenever you discuss about the research means you are wants to pursue your phd or maybe your masters or dissertation data acquisition data mining data manipulation and finally data presentation i repeat data acquisition you have to acquire a data literature review reading so many papers journals books discussing then data mining you are going to be searching for the particular that area in which you wants to pursue your research because bal ki khal nikalna you are going to be touched to that why pin point in which area because books talks about a huge things but you are looking for one particular you know uh, gap analysis then data manipulation how to be get comparative analysis how to be get the readings out of it manipulation manipulation is not a bad word manipulating does mean that to making it to be that logical end and finally it is your presentation maybe your body language maybe your fluency maybe your ppts maybe your content of course maybe your paper that is presentation i think this i conclude in four words what basically the research is going to be taken care of now i'll go to the next next part why this kind of things are happening okay let me uh, my screen may not be visible again i have to go for my this google suit sometimes i am finding anyhow i hope i'll be in position to present back yes 
main components of research you know defining refining problem formulation formulating hypotheses suggested solutions collecting organizing evaluating data making deductions testing etc 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 this is enough. i'm not going to spend a time on this also although it needs what critical thinking positive thinking thinking out of a box innovative thinking if your thinking can be innovative but your tools are not innovative i know how to cook dosa innovative way but i don't get the proper you know tawa or maybe the flame limit i think i lost i have a great ingredients in my mind to be great but how i can produce it because i don't have the tools that's what i am emphasizing on the tools more what type of research you are doing descriptive or maybe analytic applied maybe fundamental or oh, qualitative maybe quantitative conceptual maybe empirical these are the research types this is what i think the broad area that's why i am touching this area because base should be clear why we are here today and what we are going to discuss about the research methodology of course i am putting ai enabled so i wants to bring some deep learning machine learning and some latest tools computational tools which we can use and which are available what are the terms we are using research methods research research methodology and of course this is one what i would like to say here what is that five w's what you are going to do sir i am going to do research what means in this area why sir i wants to do phd oh is it for the phd no sir i just actually wants to get one sci paper when you will publish sir maybe next year where you will publish in which journal in which particular citation with whom you are going to be co-authored or cite or to take in the references five w's and these five w's are incomplete if you do not have what if you do not have how how this is research how what when where why with whom how that is research i believe and i feel that gives sense over here characteristics i am going to discuss the characteristics research is directed towards the solution of a problem based upon observable experiences or evidences empirical evidences demands accurate observation made by researcher involves gathering new data what i said data acquisition using existing data research activities are practiced by careful design procedures it requires expertise like a skills and of course tools using if you are not good to use how to create a ppt on a powerpoint and you don't know how to use a word file with the review to be get the plagiarism check or maybe the repetitive words i think you are losing something so research is objective and logical applying every possible test to validate what exactly because most of the research requires some experimental or maybe nowadays simulation research involves a quest for answers to unsolved problems always be ready to answer to many unanswered questions which going to be created because of your research because of your new article because of your new area gap analysis let your examiner let your colleagues let your friends let your students let the audience to be asked questions then it is a research if there is a no question answers there is no research courage yes i will definitely bring energy change i will bring some social impact i should bring some cost effectiveness i should bring some environmental impact by replacing existing device idea design tool formula rutherford everybody heard bohor everybody heard there was no conflict of interest with, between the rutherford and bohor but end of the day there was a one iteration there was a one ideology then there is another ideology and do we stop there do we stop with the four planets which were uh, discovered and today we are reaching so many planets do we stop with the one or two elements or uh, metals we could discover and today's my periodic table is i think going to be a uh, unpredictable what we studied during my chemistry of 10th and the what we are going to teach in today's chemistry of 10th i think there is a change 
a change because we people are doing adding something new nodes new arena started from the steam engine reaching to the bullet train how could could not be invented a bullet train at that time only when we were talking about the steam engine no there was an ample quantity of coal at that time look it to the resources look it to the challenges then only the research is going to be take place if there is no challenge then there is no research and if there is no resource there is no need of research at all today we are researching of what to be make use of the resources in a better way in a safe way to make our future safe to make our future generation safe this is what research characterized by the patient and on heroic activities so this is what basically we are going to be i think my system is have some virus i believe anyo research is carefully recorded and reported carefully recorded and reported is the important thing if it is not recorded today then tomorrow it's a reinventing of wheel and we don't want the reinventing of wheel today already we researched it we tabulated it we documented it let the future extensions to come note the same efforts to be put by the many more man hours in my country it's a wastage of national resources national property national economy so we should not do the research of research yes we should do the research of search that's so it's sort of a cycle well, you have to plan something then you have to create a structure then you have to strategy a research then you have to create a blueprint we call it as a drafting the plan for which you are going to be what kind of design helps to give direction helps to decision making smooth working of course reliability today we talk about the compactness speediness and of course reliability if reliability is missing i think the research missing the core ingredient reliability and of course the effective results the accuracy that is another part accuracy this is a good design you know it should be flexible enough it should be efficient to be worked economical today in our country if we are talking about something uh, oxygen concentrators or you know that uh, ventilators don't you think the designs are available in the society yes a lot many designs but they are not so economical they are not so easy to design well and to manufacture in a days we need some flexible efficient economical minimize the bias and of course maximize the reliability these are the features for the designs which is supposed to be what are the important concepts relating to the research design you know dependent and independent variables if you are talking something about your research okay you may be doing research in a biotechnology maybe in electrical maybe in a mechanical maybe in a some management area what are the dependent variables and what are the independent variables if you do not have this you can't make the boundary conditions when you can't make the boundary conditions you can't uh, start doing any numerical techniques applicable today you talk about matlab you talk about famlab you talk about skylab there are so many tools open source as well as licensed versions available and end of the day we do required this for the iterations we can't afford to make a satellite first before to launch we have to simulate a satellite 1000 times before we are going to construct and then we are going to launch you know what time saving money saving energy saving of course many lives saving creating a nuclear power plant without doing the simulation part i think we it is a, taking a, a bad shape so the extraneous variable these you know some variables are hidden you never know about it if they could know about this variable we could not uh, lose our kalpana chawla what was that because the outside uh, change of temperature inside change of temperature the change delta t they could not work upon to that level that big change is going to be make the big loss to the country or uh, nation great astronauts and we also lose our young astronaut of country kalpana chawla because some kind of you know hidden variable same thing happened to our uh, presently when we are launching something to mars and i think we are going to be successful in coming days very soon control many things are under direct control some things are not direct but they are indirect means the linear control as well as no linear control system we need certain you know experiments to be happen hypothesis has to be get create uh, we, we imagine 
okay, tomorrow I have to travel to Delhi. Uh, it can be a big traffic on road. I should go by aeroplane. Aeroplane is going to become costly. Shall I go with the Stabdi? Stabdi may have a big traffic and may not get a ticket. What is this? This is totally my hypothesis. With the available resources, with the available scope of uh, work, and then finally with my mind uh, analysis, with my past experience, with my historical data, I'm going to be get some kind of. Uh, hypothesis model to be get created this is what the design says outcomes most important end of the day what you are doing research if it doesn't have the outcome of that it doesn't make any sense in my country india i say very uh, i should not say uh, it's not a proud talk so many phds are happening in my country just go to the shod ganga it's a uh, UGC portal, and every PhD is supposed to be get uploaded. The thesis is going to be uploaded before confer the degree. And just look at the imbalancing in the sense, if the thousand PhDs are going to be registered in a one month of time throughout the country, there are 900 plus universities that those are capable to uh, register the PhDs. Even I could see in your VTU, Bengaluru itself, uh, I think in a one uh, convocation, they are able to uh, confer that uh, PhDs in more than uh, 400, I believe. If I'm not wrong, there's more than 300. So I was wondering, uh, these many PhDs we are doing in India, do we have the same number of uh, patents or same kind of innovative uh, things? Because PhD means something new. We are going to create something new. So some new design, some new you know fabrication, some new uh, solutions should come to the country. Do we have? I think most of the PhDs are going in the Almira only, just for doing for sake. So the participants should understand the general definition of research design. Participants should know why education research is undertaken. End of the day, it should serve something to the society, to the nation, to the mankind, of course, to the environment. And in that way, I think it is an outcome. If it is just for doing sake that I have done something simulated and it's not workable or not designable or not any solution, I don't think this is a PhD or it is a research. Challenges are there. Yes, challenges are there. Not similar to science, uncontrollable variables, human tendencies. You know, uh, we start work, uh, sir, I lost my interest in this because I got married, sir. My husband is not allowing for uh, sitting along in lab, sir. I'm dropping my PhD in between. Oh, we spend a lot on you. We invested investment of time. One professor given a one year and he given his uh, idea. And in between, you're living in between. Time and money, sir. Uh, it needs a big equipment, sir. I, uh, sorry, sir. My research proposal has been declined by ASCT or UGC. So I can't pursue my research because I don't have money. No private company player is coming to be fund me because they don't trust me, sir. They said it may flop, it may not flop. So the courageous you have to be have just like a Dr. Preeta Sharan. She's doing amazingly a research of worth of crore of rupees because she, she knows that once she's going to submit the idea and proposal and she's going to follow up and she's having the proper evidence record definitely that project is going to be get kicked and he, he or she is going to be get a money for their students so like this we have uh, many things and please excuse me i think today my uh, this laptop is uh, giving some trouble lack of computerization yes it is a one of the challenge lack of computerization what is that if you do not have the computational tool with you you can't pursue it. And today, I, I don't think any research in any area without computers. Lack of scientific training, methodology. If you do not know how to use a vernier caliper in the lab or a screwdriver in the lab to measure simple dia, do you think that to, you will be able to use very high specificated, uh, specificated equipments? There are worth of crores of equipments lying in many good labs, but we never open the manual and we don't have the trainers to give the demonstration. And sometimes you don't know the true features of that equipment. Equipment is having a amazing features because the company simply sell it, dump it and went. They give a demo to one professor who, to whom they have to get the certified utilization and to get the payment. And the young teachers, the young scholars, when they are coming to work on this equipment, they don't have the training on this. Now I'll start with my area of discussion today. Please be concentrated selecting the right tool right tool right platform it's most important many youngsters when they start doing the research methodology 
in their area they grab so many apps oh you have this please give me cd oh you have this please give me cd don't make your laptop junk of so many softwares so many apps you concentrate what is the tool which is easy to install easy to use easy to interface and covered the platforms with your hardware and software and mobile desktop i think that is the right tool the tool which you are going to be use scripting language java perl python etc supported while examining this if you are good in java you don't look it to python and don't get be fascinated oh you know in python i could do in a 5 minutes it's okay when you are expertise in java i think you can do in half an hour but your results may be more reliable sometimes or end of the day you will be comfortable doing your research so do not uh, get confused and get be uh, 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 unhappy to understand your product support and uh, this thing and whenever you are selecting a tool you must see the licensing if it is a freeware it's okay if it is a licensing maybe a some minimum amount because when you are in between the research and then one toolbox is required and which is required a license you will lose your heart oh i never knew this is uh, going to be freeware so you must be pakka about the product support and documentation the user manual the help that should be available selecting a <clears throat> right tool is a most important when you are doing a automated research or maybe a ai enabled research computational research <clears throat> when you talk something about the script based automation tools in script based there are many types the very first type is a code based most of the candidates doing writing some codes it may be with the android based or maybe ios based so when you are doing some coding because coding is required you for go for any gui you go for any kind of a you know matlab uh, text file or maybe any coding it may be on a c language c++ or java or you know other kind of tools it should be a typical code based to support programming language you should know which language is correlate to with particular tool many of the softwares are having compatibility issue with the many language scripts if you talk about the low code tools that is a gui platform to enable a non technical team members to write and run the test cases which reduces what you know i think i recommend this it reduce your time it reduce your team size so low code automation testing platforms typically require set of the minimal coding to tweak because everybody can't be a great coder you maybe not you you are doing a research in a biotechnology or maybe sometimes in a physics or maybe chemistry you may not be healthy in a coding can't we use this kind of uh, cerberus testing or argos labs etc though it requires low code even you don't require a code at all yes there are so many no code tools are also available just like uh, low code tools those allow for codeless test scripts which can be reused in different environment this is graphical user interface by dragging and dropping just bringing from the lab i think now we are using a virtual lab you go to swam and you a virtual lab you don't have to design or use that you don't have to design a, you know uh, ammeter and voltmeter you have the proper trainer kits you can conduct so many experiments with the simulated trainer kits so it means you do not require to write a code on that you don't have to create the icons with the help of code so these kind of things cloud qa catalan studio renorex subject 7 test project test complete test architect texting these these are no code tools when we talking about the automation when we talking about the artificial intelligence uh, sort of things these are the automations are available for our youngsters those are doing something in a research and in their research methodology if they are going to use some maybe code maybe less code or maybe no code we'll go beyond to this robotic you know neither writing a code neither even running in a tester what we have in test automation boards eliminate the need for the test script even gui testing web applications automated regression testing art automated regression testing which aims to check for defects in existing features after a software system updates these are the boards you know sometimes we are going to install our new software in our laptop or maybe desktop 
there are so many yellow window comes it has the conflicting with this particular app conflicting with this particular file then we uninstall it this is the beauty neither i wrote a code neither i created a problem with my hard disk or my cpu or my system so filling out the submitting forms clicking links the checking output page recognizing text ui elements on a page validating the resulting information of the api request that is application interface so these are the robotic tools i can say the latest tools now beyond this level look i started with the coding less coding no coding and of course robotics now it is artificial enabled automation tools that is called machine learning algorithms deep learning algorithms in testing automation typically requires large database to train the data only the thing is my computer my laptop in which i have a machine learning tool has been run algorithm they are watching my activities dr manna at night 10 o'clock starts working on a matlab and daily he is running one program he is doing this today when i will switch on my laptop my laptop is ready with my solution oh dr manna you come back okay nice to see you look at the iterations which i run for you i think you are looking these values oh how come you know machine learning machine is learning from your daily routine it is self trained you know there is a, a supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforced learning in the machine learning there are three three types unsupervised learning in between first is supervised learning mere samne karna whatever you are doing do in front of me you may burn your hand when we say to our kids when he is going to cook a maggi after two months okay you cook a maggi i am waiting in a room a third one beta today you can make your food yourself i am not coming home oh reinforce you have so much confidence that he will uh, learn how to switch on the stove and how to put a pan and, and there is a hot oil because it's reached to that level training level so detect gu defects monitor software change update existing tests to align with the changes update ui elements field names test graphs etc these are the tools uh, apri tools ice you can use functionalize you can use Uh, mabel you can use parasoft you can use test ai test demo io these are the ai tools which can use for the test selections test maintenance of your script of your running the algorithms for your research area now we are going to understand the top existing uh, tools and frameworks you know development of neural network is a long process which requires a lot thought behind the architecture and whole bunch of uh, nuances so now we are going beyond anl artificial neural network we are going beyond fuzzy logic we are going for the artificial intelligence when we are going to the artificial intelligence these are the 12 major tools which i am going to discuss today for the research area research domain in which you can take use of them you can take use of them look at one the scikit uh, learn you just i'm showing purposely logo when you are searching on a computer you can search it oh this is the same logo this is what i was talking it is a most well known ml that is a machine learning libraries it underpins many administrated and unsupervised learning calculations unsupervised learning calculations end of the day iterations iterations we are changing some composition of material we are changing some uh, boundary conditions we are changing some temperature pressure or maybe velocity or maybe current and then we are running the same algorithm software this is what is going to be happen choice trees bunching came price it expands on two essential libraries of python numpy and scipy these are the latest uh, you know uh, coding tools we are using so calculations for regular ai and data mining assignments including bunching relapse and order relapse and orders wherever your simulation is going to be collapsed they use the word relapsed so they are going to restart indeed even undertakings like changing information feature determination and an assemble techniques can be executed in a couple of lines in two lines you can change the whole script by writing two lines you can change the whole script this is one of the tool automl amazing amazing automl is a probably one of the strongest and fairly recent addition to the 
arsenal of tools available at disposal of machine learning engineers as described in the introduction optimizations are the essence of machine learning tasks i told you so this is what uh, you know especially to in the black box like a neural networks where in a data domain you know neural network is a black box it is a neurons and you don't know which particular neurons is going to get disturbed end of the day it's a brain and this is what happened to the human brain also although it's one of the best machine best machine tool a human brain human mind so this auto ml is going to give you the all kind of solutions which we do require from the ml libraries this is what is optimizing your tasks optimizing your iterations this is what now few of the tools open ml jumping from something that is completely beginner friendly to something if you are a starter you are a beginner it features a tool neural designer for advanced analytics which provides graphs and tables to interpret data entries every youngster every beginner wants some graphs of course some tabular you may be using a matlab sometimes you may be using some excel sheets or something can't we try to this you must try to this open nl and you will find amazing amazing gui's are going to be and uh, you know h2 h2 h20 is a open source free of cost platform it is an artificial uh, intelligence tool which business oriented and help them to make a decision from data and enables a user to draw insights you know so many graphical representations are required to be put before the examiner or to our uh, papers research papers to uh, readers viewers so there is a one is open source and if you can pay something then it is a sparkling water sparkling water is another ai tool it's amazing one which having a deep learning algorithm instead of machine learning it has a deep learning deep learning is the next version of machine learning platform and it is going to give you the help to for the decision making of your data which you are going to fetch in the form of excel sheets or other way okay again google open source google ml kit have you ever tried this it's a purely machine learning beta beta sdk for a mobile developers is designed to enable developers to build personalized features it works on your uh, you know apple phone as well as your android phone in india most of the people we are using uh, apple or android very few are using window phones so this api is very much uh, installable to your mobile you can comfortably this includes a feature such as a face text recognitions you know many times we have the pdf files we want to create ocr so and from ocr you have to create some tabulars maybe excel sheets something barcode scanning imaging labeling many many things can be helped with the google machine learning kit that is google ml kit very famous you can install any time you can use any time then you will see this kind of tools are helping lot in your research methodology when you start working on your uh, research work okay trans uh, tensorflow tensorflow is uh, one of the fascinating uh, uh, component which is very much uh, compatible with the c++ and cuda level to run any kind of gpu that is in a graphical uh, presentation users so this is executed some types of profound learning calculations huge 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 learnings uh, that calculations needs a big ram big processing time that can be saved if you utilize the tensor flow it utilizes an arrangement of multi layered hubs that enables you to rapidly set up train and send counterfeit neural system with a huge data sets because in many calculations in numerical techniques especially uh, or maybe in empirical formulas we do required the calculations and sometimes we are uh, we struggle with our system desktop where you will go limit is 8 gb ram 16 gb ram oh 32 gb ram how much invest why don't you apply some tools which are going to save your money your time and of course your energy as well as. okay again uh, i'll take up to the next one this is uh, what i just wanted to be show here kf is a profound learning structure made with the articulation speed and measure quality i repeat articulation speed and measure quality as a top priority you want a speed 
you use this you want some quality of uh, uh, you know research uh, results because it is a berkeley vision and learning center it is created by berkeley you know everybody berkeley university of berkeley is amazing the great scientists have created this and uh, it is uh, by network donor so it is going to be open source google's deep dream depends on k framework your google one of the application deep dream works on this k framework this structure is a bsd authorized c++ you see you written a code on a c++ c++ everybody knows even a plus 2 level or matric level student you written a code in c++ you can run on this if it's amazing ai tool i think and we can use of it sometimes it is a licensed also you have to pay some money yes m uh, maxnet so maxnet is a trading computation time for memory via for gettable backdrop many times you miss the data you lose the data you can't retrieve the data you can't search the data from the archival this is the tool built with scalability in mind fairly easy to use support with a multi gpu and multi machine training programs lots of cool features like easily writing custom layers in high level languages you type in simple english he will understand your simple english that is a maxnet unlike almost all other major frameworks it is not directly governed by major corporation which is healthy situation for an open source community you don't have to pay money since it is open source not highly paid so you can write in a simple english and you can use maxnet there are so many ai tools when you are start doing the research work and experimental work and maybe the iteration work a simulation work these tools are helping a lot you know we start with the latex uh, okay latex is one okay we start with the aba we start with the ieee standards for writing a research papers writing a thesis so many ai tools are available to make your template ready to fetch your data in your dissertation to make it in a dissertation form only thing is you have to train the machine with your template which is given by the concerned university or a journal every journal have their own template you fetch the template it is ready you fetch your word file data automatically it's going to give a line space your justification your graphical representation synonyms syntax everything is going to be come with this ai tools yes keras if you like a python way of doing things keras is for you high level library for neural network using tensorflow or terno is in back end so majority of the practical problems like uh, picking an architecture suitable for a problem image recognition problem configuration of network optimization problem etc can easily be solved or executed with the keras so this is one again ai tool which you can use which is available for your installation and you can make this tiano tiano is a wonderful folded over keras an abnormal state neural system library that runs nearly in parallel with the tiano library it is a parallel job you know sometimes you want to be double sure you are running one uh, platform on a c++ you use a python 2.7 or python 3.5 you can compare the results with the c++ script written as well as on the python so you can make a good research paper or comparative analysis which can be helped with this tiano so tiano can this enables to make a information escalated counts up to multiple time quicker than what kept running on cpu what you are doing on your cpu for ordinary simulation it is going to be done in a fraction of minutes this is what one tool which has to be installed okay pytorch and uh, cntk is again one tools and we are using a purely ai system uh, created by facebook yes facebook uh, has given this particular code on github uh, that 22k stars you know on a facebook wherever your photo is there wherever they will search for you and they will show tagged by someone do you want to tag yourself is it you it's your memory you visited there the place is recognition face recognition uh, location recognition so many things so pytorch is uh, uh, developed by the facebook and it is now useful in many areas and cntk is similar one which is a gradient descents and uh, for error back uh, propagation we are using cntk 
this is another tool with this i think i have completed well in time to my tools because we have some discussions time so i just wanted to close here my screen going to the paper i request the participants any queries please be interactive yes madam yes madam sir thank you sir this is dr sasilata uh, rightly you have pointed out that uh, research should come out to innovation sir research uh, normally it will not come out to the innovations so if uh, the research scholars if they are able to do research with the innovations in mind definitely they will have very good uh, innovative uh, concepts and patents will come out there. and also uh, i would like to mention there are some ai tools available like uh, auto ml google ml kit you have uh, Uh, described lot of uh, amazing ai tools which will be useful for uh, uh, whether it is uh, uh, useful for all sort of research say for example in the uh, department of electrical engineering many people are doing uh, research on uh, power electronics drives power systems renewable energy systems whether these tools are suitable for those uh, systems sir this is my question okay very 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 valid question uh, i think uh, if all the participants uh, could join me in the beginning uh, beginning they could see my very first slide selecting a tool is the most important job every tool is not meant for all kind of research that's why there are many tools then why is so many softwares are existing in the market you know ansys is doing separately and soft is doing separately maxel is doing separately and of course your matlab is doing separately why because our research domain area is so widen so expandable even if i am doing something on a transformers and that in rush current calculation my famlab may not help me there because in famlab my boundary conditions are the dichert and uh, newman and at the same time i will go for the maxwell maxwell will do a good uh, part in my transform for in rush current that is a magnetization i'm just giving example but when i'm doing for the dc machines i think uh, my ansys will help me a lot that's why all ai tools are uh, one of the particular ai tool is not fit for all kind of uh, researches you have to see what is your area of research and what kind of calculations what kind of iterations what kind of uh, simulation you are going to take place and what are your boundary conditions what are your variables there are two types of variable i told you the par parameters one is the constant variables and one is the uh, you know uh, hidden variables so based on that your variables you have to decide the tool so uh, now uh, earlier days we were doing a literature review now in the literature review i asked to my candidate spend 20% of your energy and time during the literature review 6 months uh, for the tools in literature review see what tools published which which particular paper has been published with the help of which tool because tool has to be cited by the author i have taken my graphs i have taken my readings i have taken my calculations with the help of this particular tool they have to cite it based on that we can make up a mind whether i'm going to console famlab whether i'm going to be a matlab whether i'm going to be a ml kit and it is a tool uh, there are so many areas one area is script writing another area is simulation third area is gui that is a graphical representation it means a one person who's pursuing a phd he needs the three different types of tools at the three different types of levels of their phd for script writing is a different simulation running experimental is entirely different and of course finally you have to present your papers and the thesis you need the graphs so then again you need a ai tool or this kind of tools so selecting a tool yes every tool cannot be served to the every problem this is what i just want to say thank you yeah thank you sir thank you very much uh, for the explanation so i think the session is very good uh, informative session uh, the scholars faculty members who are available in this call uh, they are able to get enough uh, guidance from you thank you sir Uh, Dr. K. Modi, you would like to say? Yes, yeah. yes ma'am. Any more questions from the participant side? Okay, ma'am. I'll conclude the session. Uh, very good afternoon to all and all present here. I thank the distinguished speaker for giving a very good uh, lecture. We have learned uh, how to start the research, how to proceed it uh, safely. importance of the quality research and the effective tools in the needed for doing research in ai 
we will adapt everything in our research to produce a quality product in future sir from your lecture the participants have gained more knowledge that we will incorporate in future sir um, i thank uh, uh, dr preeta charan madam for uh, given an opportunity to, to get a very good le lecture from you and i thank uh, both of you uh, from, uh, by um, our uh, management by the vice chancellor uh, the registrar our dean and uh, the most important the participants uh, very thank you very much sir thank you very much we had a very great opportunity thank you thank you and special thanks to dr peter sharan special thanks to the whole university management and uh, you both the coordinators you have coordinated very well and uh, that's why i could present it before the participants thank you to all of you thank, thank you. you sir thank you all thank, thank you. you thank you your talk was very nice even uh, i was listening you. from the starting to ending oh, thank you dr sharan for uh, yes. listening my talk thank you yes.